It is another day at the garden habitat, home to many different organisms going about their daily cycle of activities. Here, you can find a variety of plants and animals. They interact with one another. Even though the garden looks calm and quiet, a closer look reveals a lot of activities. An army of ants crawls along the tree trunk, while a caterpillar feasts on the green juicy leaves. Butterflies flutter among the flowers, while birds sing and chirp amongst themselves. Look, there is a squirrel searching for food up in the trees. Organisms depend on one another for food. For instance, the bird gets its energy when it feeds on the caterpillar. The caterpillar in turn gets its energy when it feeds on the plants. Plants get their energy from the sun as they photosynthesize. The relationship between organisms can be represented in a food chain. In this food chain, the caterpillar eats the plant and the bird eats the caterpillar. In a food chain, the plant is the food producer as they make food through a process called photosynthesis. The caterpillar and the bird are food consumers. They do not make their own food. They eat plants or other animals to get the energy they need. Besides eating caterpillars, the bird also feeds on stick insects. This forms another food chain. When the food chains are linked together, a food web is formed. The organisms in an environment are dependent on one another. What do you think will happen if all the plants in the garden die? The caterpillars and the stick insects will not have any food and will die. The populations of the caterpillars and stick insects will decrease. The birds will then have less food to feed on. Thus, the population of the birds will also decrease. Now, you can see how the organisms interact with one another within a habitat. We have also learned that the relationship between organisms can be represented in a food web or food chain. The next time you visit a garden habitat, look around and you may just be able to group the different organisms into food chains and food webs. Thank you.